All right, so this is gonna seem like a really, really short video. I think it's only, what, it's less than five minutes, but hopefully you will see that this might be one of the most important and stress relieving videos that you might ever see on this channel. Maybe, possibly. Let me give you a, a little scenario. Let's say you're at home and you're ready to do a good amount of work on Premiere Pro. And let's also say that you've been working on a project for such a long time. You've got so much of it almost done. You're finalizing it and you know, you're happy at where it is. But then for some reason, you accidentally delete everything on your timeline. And worse than that, you also accidentally save it and then cross out. So you've lost all your work. Now, generally, this would be the time where you'd want to panic because you pretty much just lost everything. And, and you know, you spent all your time on this and trying to add up in your head, how much time have I just lost right now? How much time do I have to finish the project and get it out for the deadline that I did just say? Well, don't worry, you don't have to think of any of those things because you can get everything back and it's pretty simple and it's really easy. You just gotta do a couple steps and it's what you gotta do. Go to file, then project settings right at the bottom and then scratch disk. After that, a window will appear and I'll give you all these different settings and it'll tell you, it'll tell you where your videos are, your audio, your previews, but the most important thing it'll tell you is where your auto saves are. You're gonna follow that path on your computer and what you should see are all these different folders and then all you're going to do is click on the auto save file and then pick the most recent save of the file that you're working on. And there you see everything that you just lost, you have back again. So if something did go wrong with your file, maybe you did delete something, maybe there was an error, you can actually get back a previous version of your project and can start working on that again. And there you have it. Now you don't have to stress out about if something does go wrong with your Premiere file. Now, if it gives you a little bit more peace of mind, you can also change your autosave settings. And this is how. What you're gonna do is go to Edit, Preferences, then Autosave. And then you'll see all your settings for your autosave. So you can change when Premiere will autosave your work. Here it's set to 15 minutes, but you can change that. And you can even change the maximum project versions you want it to create. Like I said in the beginning of this video, it is a really short one. However, hopefully this video actually stops you from possibly stressing out when something bad does go wrong with your Premiere file. Cause I mean, you never know when something bad will happen, but now you do know how to fix it if it does happen. And I'll save you from stressing out a lot. So thanks for watching. And I really do hope that you did find this video useful because I mean, there has been one or two times where this has happened to me and this kind of did just save me from stressing out. So again, hope you liked it. If you did, Please give it a like. If you're not subscribed yet, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.